recording time! Here we are, the podcast heroes discuss Toku like never before. Legion! Go, Legion of Boo! Go, Legion of Boo! Go, Legion of Boo! Go, 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 fly! Go, Legion of Boo! Go, Legion of Boo! Go, Legion of Boo! Legion of Boo! Welcome back to the Legion of Boom podcast. It's good, good to be back, fellas. It's your boy, Ginger Herb. I'm here with my homies. Yo, yo, it's your boy, Zio Blue. Happy one year anniversary, fellas. <gasps> hey. Legion That's Channel, right. one years old. Oh, shoot. What's up, yep, guys? Yep. It's Sentai 5, as usual, back in better than ever. I'm Tavion Jackson, man. Fuck Pat Ranger. Hey, yeah. watch your mouth. Yeah, but we back with the same energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, y'all thought it was going to be different? All right, so today we're talking about gimmicks. You know what I'm saying? Tokusatsu gimmicks. Oh, yeah. Uh, Basically, like, uh, the thing Sentai and Ryder Ultraman l- lately using to push them young toy sales yep. to keep the shows breathing. So I'm going to ask y'all real quick, what's your favorite? what's your favorite gimmick from any show? It don't even matter which franchise. All right. Want me to go mm. first, I guess, or row? Yeah. No, you go, go first, bro. Go ahead. All right. As uh, the young Joshua Perry would say, for <laughs> Sentai, it's got to be Ranger Keys, man, because it's <laughs> such a simple concept and effective. Little figurines that turn into keys, you stick them into a freaking phone, become any Ranger you want. What else could you possibly want after that? They even have Megazord keys, too, so boom. Okay, and- I don't know. How many of those did they make? The Megazord keys. Um, I think I think only like five or six of them. Yeah, whatever ones are that were in the Mo- uh, Go Kaiju Go Busters movie. We should ask Josh. Oh yeah, we should. You know that boy? No, that boy. That boy got a boat. He got a Men in Black briefcase with Ranger <laughs> keys in them. Dude, that's really that's really impressive. <laughs> that is really that's impressive. dedication. That is. <laughs> my uh, my favorite my favorite rider gimmick. Damn, this is actually kind of tough. It would have to be maybe the uh, the Gaia memories or the full bottles. Really, the full bottles, dude. <laughs> if you watch the show, the full bottles are no joke, man. You collect all sixty, you control the entire world. <laughs> divide divide your state or country into three. If I was gonna split New York into three, <laughs> <laughs> yo, they're trying to split California into three already. Legit. <laughs> That's kind of raw. But for uh, the guy <laughs> memories, they're freaking USBs, man, but they're treated as drugs. Oh, yeah, that is GOAT. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I don't know if y'all, yeah, like Five said, I don't know if y'all watch Common Rider Double. I don't know if y'all watch Common Rider Double, but they, it's like literally like they sell it on the street like it's crack or something. They be like, yo. Are you for real? Yeah, they're like, hey, get your guy memories, kids. They have a rich what family. The they have a rich family as the main supplier. Yeah. Yeah. I swear, I swear they treat it like it's drugs. <laughs> yeah. That should be my first common rider. Yeah, you should try double. <laughs> double kind of. Uh, they have they should, have like they should. have like the insertion point like yeah. tattooed, and they have to like stick it, whether it's the neck or the arm or the torso. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't they do, don't, don't they do the same thing with Forza? They treat it like it's a drug. Or yeah, so the the, like uh, the Astro switches or the Zodiac switches. Yeah. Yeah, drug for little kids. They sell them at high school. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man, get an Astro switch. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, also the lock seats too. They're sold as drugs. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they are. It's got a, got a little a little dealer. He sits in the, he sits in the back of a freaking fruit shop. <laughs> <laughs> he opens his coat up. He yeah. opens his coat up. Like, y'all want some y'all want some lock seats? <laughs> Straight off of Helheim. I got that strawberry. <laughs> Everybody loves mango. <laughs> Tay. Yeah. Okay, but what's your favorite uh, gimmick from either franchise? It don't even matter which one. Um, from Sentai, my favorite gimmick is pro. This is gonna sound crazy. My favorite gimmick is the uh, Ninja Shurikens. Really, the Ninja Shurikens? Explain yeah. yourself, please. <laughs> the the show was garbage. The yeah. show was garbage, but you can't deny that those things. Those they actually look really cool. Oh, they, they you do. Know, I will yeah, give you that because the, the end shuriken was uh, pretty raw. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The the 
like they they uh, they have a really cool design to them, and then the Japanese version of them are actually like they actually really cool. Yeah, like they have a, they have like playability to them. You can actually combine them to the uh, to uh, Cherokee engine. I I don't know. I just like the design of them. Plus, I mean, they sure because they like throwing stars. Like the <laughs> Bandai America is ass. <laughs> <laughs> like they, Bandai America is so bogus for making those. <laughs> exactly. Like because really, see, that's the thing. Like speaking of gimmicks, like Ben Toy and Saban Brands took one of the nicest designs that they had in recent years and they ruined it with two horrible shows. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a two hit so, combo. Like <laughs> what the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> but yeah, the Nin Shurikens, I really like those. Uh I actually wish that they had sold better and so we could have gotten more of them. Right. Uh there there were so many of them that were actually in the show and stuff that weren't never released because the toy sales weren't that hot. But I mean, it kind of was expected with the Mecca anyway. Mm-hmm. But, um, and then I don't know, other than that, I like the Judenji, of course. Because, yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> I was like, I was surprised that wasn't but, even your first choice. <laughs> no, nah, that's actually the, nah, the Nin Shuriken is actually my favorite. But, uh, another, I also like, um, Q-tama. Know, see, that's. Yeah, the Q-Tama, the, yeah. like, Zhuoji doesn't have an actual gimmick gimmick, but, like, the whole cube, everything mm-hmm. about the cubes and stuff, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as far as Kamen Rider goes, I mean, I like the lock seeds. Hey. They are. Right. Yeah. Yo, about the, because he brought up the end shuriken earlier, just, like, a quick side question. Mm-hmm. The end shuriken was the big fat one that uh, Brody's dad had, right? Yeah. yeah. In the first episode? It was a lot okay. smaller than in, in, in Ninja. Yeah, why was it? Why is it so big and interesting? I don't know. They try to make it like it was a big deal, but then I think it was so. My guess is it was so big because it divided into the into other the six. six. Yeah, uh, and then but then it shrunk down. It shrunk down into the sm- into the red. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. They just yeah, still don't make yeah. sense to me anymore. Yeah, I'm they gonna some, talk about my- they, they somehow know Alpha Five, but I'm not gonna get into that. Yeah. yeah, let's not talk about that inter- <laughs> that trash anniversary issue. <laughs> that's Jesus. for that's for next episode. Yeah, <laughs> next week. Next Stay time on Legion podcast. Bro, you got a favorite gimmick from like Power Rangers or something? Um, does well, what was the gimmick for Zeo? Was it the shapes, right? <clears throat> that, was a, that was a theme. That wasn't a that's gimmick. A theme. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll... <laughs> I mean, okay, well, that's that's a good point. Robin's a good point, kind of. Right. Do the power coins. And the Zeo crystals count as gimmicks? The uh, Zeonizer crystals? They were I, mean, I don't know. I don't know about I don't know about the Zeonizer crystals because there's only one Zeonizer sold, so I mean two Zeonizers sold. Oh yeah, you're and right. And they come with like five <laughs> crystals, right? It came with like one crystal. Oh just mm-hmm. yeah. I would say the power points count simply because like uh there's more than one have, set. There's more than one set of power points, so they're definitely collectible gimmicks. Yeah. You know? Go. But as far as Zeo go, I mean, obviously Bandai, they release, aren't they still releasing like that Zeo gem set? I, yeah. I don't, wait, I didn't. They're releasing a Zeo gem set? I didn't hear about that. Yeah. I, it, I saw that somewhere. Yeah. Uh, they're like releasing the Zeo gems, but not like Zeo crystals, like those. Oh, as power coins. They, yeah. yeah. Like power coins. They said that, but with the Hasbro buy it, I don't even know if that's coming back anymore. Oh, dude. I remember yeah, this. Yeah, now I remember what, what you're talking about. Yeah. But yeah. I'm, the, I think in Power Rangers, Power, I mean, in Power Rangers, we don't really. It yeah, is not really gimmicks. And, you know, kind of a thing. Hmm. hmm. Power Rangers, they do dodge the gimmicks, don't they? Like, until lately. Yeah. Like, with Di- we ain't got no choice, like Dino Charge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The gimmick started in Power Rangers with uh, what's that show? Uh, the one that everybody likes. RPM. Yeah, them niggas. <laughs> hey, RPM is good. But RPM dodged the gimmick thing too because they do not make a big deal out of the engine sales. No, oh, not yeah. at all. They just appear like, out of nowhere half the time. Yeah, yeah like. <clears throat> so the big thing, the biggest gimmick so far was what Super Mega Force. Yeah, with the Ranger. Yeah, yeah that's it. 
Go. Hey, you know the um, the Mega Force Morpher, the Ghost Age Morpher. Oh yeah, the cards. Oh, the cards. Yeah. That gotta be like the best Morpher Bandai America ever did. Like, they, like, <laughs> like did y'all collect they, the cards? Cause I did. I, I had did not. some. I had some of them because I I have the Morpher, and like the Morpher that I bought was like the version that came with a ton of cards. Dog, I wish I'd have got them cards. I regret it now because you can't find them no. I know, yeah. They used to be in Walmart. I went to Walmart. Like starter deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like an idiot for not getting that. Because I, I thought it was going to be like around forever, but I ain't. No, <laughs> I, I thought like, that too. Oh. Some of the cards were pretty dope. Like the ones that like Bandai America exclusively made. Yeah. yeah. For, like the power-ups and the battleizers and stuff. That was pretty dope. Some probably heat. Find probably find it for cheap on eBay. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Sure. Man. Mook's out. Mooks out. <laughs> Big Mook. We, we need a Mook team, uh, <laughs> Sentai team. <laughs> Mook, it is Mook, a bunch of books. Mook man. Mook man. <laughs> Bring back the man instead Mook of Ranger. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I kind of hope they do that. That'd be pretty sweet if they bring back man instead of Ranger or G E R. Yeah. What was I going to say? Herb, what's your uh, favorite my game, favorite. Man? Yeah, my favorite gimmick from Sentai. Let's see. I'm actually thinking. My favorite gimmick gotta be... I like the cues from Juoja, but do that count? It's like more of a theme, but... Yeah, Duke, it is more of a theme. I would yeah, count it because the, the cube animals were the collectible gimmicks still. Even though yeah. it wasn't like inserted into a morph or anything. I'm gonna, go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and shout out to my boys, the Reshes. Yeah? Oh yeah. yeah, from Tokyuja. Honestly, as much as I don't like Tokyuja, the Russians were pretty nice. Yeah, the little trains. Cause you know why? You know what? You know why I like the Russians? Uh-huh. Not even because the trains, but because they come with the rainbow rails. Oh yeah, the yeah, P Bandai rails. set. The P Bandai set, man. That's that's what sold them for me. I was like, <laughs> you know what? That's kind of raw. <laughs> yeah, I love the tracks. Dog, that is some heat. I was like, I gotta get that, and then I never got it. Were you ever into Thomas the <laughs> Tank Engine when you were a baby? Nah, I did have some train sets, but I went in the I went in the Thomas. Thomas used to freak me out when I was a kid. <laughs> with Fun the, fact: with a smiley face and big ass yeah, eyes. Yeah, because he was talking, but he had like yeah, he looked he looked bugged out. He was his like mouth talking. Never his mouth moving. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I yeah. never I never watched that show as a kid. Whenever it came on, I turned it off. Nah, no, I, was, you know, I was a huge Thomas fan when I was a nah, little toddler. Nah. Not not young Ginga Herb, man. Young Ginga Herb. I was scared of the, uh, the, that nigga. I also, have, please I had, turn this off. I had a lot of the trains, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having, like, flashbacks over here. I'm like... PTSD. Top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, but my favorite uh, rider gimmick, nobody's going to agree with me, but I like the wizard rings. That's not a bad choice. I feel like not, I feel like they're like the most practical uh, gimmick out of all of the rider gimmicks. Here's the here's the you thing though. Them. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Here's the thing though. I like the wizard rings. I like how they look, uh-huh. and I, like like especially the form rings. But I can't. When it comes to being actually used in the fight scenes, mm-hmm. it kind of slowed down the action a little bit because he would have to stop, take his ring off, put another one on, and then activate it. Yeah, he would do it so flashy it, too for no yeah, reason. But, yeah. Thank God for that. Because <laughs> if he didn't, it'd be like, "Yo, please don't change rings again, please." <laughs> what was yeah, your favorite wizard, wizard form? Is dope. My favorite wizard form? Yeah, let me guess. Uh, nah. nah, it's actually not Infinity. It's wow. uh, I like Flame Dragon. Ooh, I see. You know the dragon. You chest. know why? Yeah, for that and because he get the when he get the dragon timer. Oh yeah, t- Tay. Yo. This, this nigga becomes his own Sentai. When he puts on a dragon timer, yeah, he, he slapped that hoe four times. <laughs> <laughs> he becomes a Sentai. He becomes a big ass dragon. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So about the gimmicks. So, how do y'all feel about them and they incorporate the show? Like, are y'all cool with like the shows most of them? Like, because, you know, in recent history, the show is it, the shift to uh, mostly using. Yeah. The um uh, is the gimmicks are line. I like yeah. all okay. I yeah. wish that it was less it was like less of a necessity at this point. I mean, um 
it's how they incorporate it into like the story of the episode because you can incorporate a gimmick by like still introducing a new like Zord or whatever, and it'll mm-hmm. still work out. But I feel like people like overlook that point and they just say, yeah. "Oh, it's a gimmick." They're trying to sell toys. Well, no shit. Yeah. The entire point like- of the show is to sell the toys. Right. It depends on how they do it because I like the yeah. way. I like the way, like, for example, like Dino Charge. I like how they did it, where Kendall was always making new Dino Charges. Yeah. So you didn't mind when they popped out a new one. Mm-hmm. Because cause that's what that's what they do. Right. But in the other on the other hand, you got stuff like, I love Jeroja, but when Jeroja, when the cues just pop out of nowhere, yeah. And you'd be like, you'd be like, dog. <laughs> you're like, yo, y- <laughs> y'all couldn't put it. Even for like Q Ranger too, when they had to get their own Q- personal Q Tama. Oh yeah. It just yeah. it just appeared out of a mini black hole. I'm like you could have just had it <laughs> hidden in like a location and they could have found it and they could have unlocked the power when it was ready. Yeah. Or whatever, but whatever. Yeah, like, I don't know. For me, it's kind of like, I like the gimmicks. I like when they add gimmicks because it, you know, sometimes the gimmicks add to a story or like to a plot. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, for, like, just taking um, Q Ranger, for example. Um, the Argo. They had that whole where you had the whole thing where you had to, um, like yeah, when you had the, the Argo arc where you had to find those three, yeah. Like, okay, yeah. that's a good way to that's a good way to use the uh, a gimmick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or the Toke like, Kutama too, when they had to go back in time. Yeah, you Perfect. know those those are innovative and smart ways to use the gimmick instead of just you know here take this you're gonna do this. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, in certain shows, depending on how the characters are based. It makes sense when they're used like that, like in Build, for example. Yeah. For, for him to just use forms sporadically out of nowhere, just all over the place, it makes sense, you know? Yeah. Like in, uh, same thing with like Kira Uger. They, we know where they come from. Right. Uh, we knew their origin. So for them to just use them out of nowhere, it makes sense. But then there's other shows like, uh, um, I don't know. I guess like there's not really too many shows that they kind of just use them unnecessarily, but sometimes they do depending on what what it is. That that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's not. There's not too many shows where it's like done weird or wrong, but it's like I think it depends on the number of the gimmick. Yeah, mm-hmm. because, because like like you said with Q Ranger, they had the Argo and the time traveling ones. Yeah. But what about all the other like fifty of them that they ones. just they yeah. just yeah, they just slapped, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, because it, it depends it, on the number. It, it became, I don't know, I kind of felt uh, it kind of became like a chore because it's like there is, there's 80, there's 88 constellations, you know? Yeah, right. And then on top of the 88 constellations, you got to release special or unique variants of certain ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it just becomes bothersome. It just becomes too much, I guess you could say. And, uh, right. uh Cause like there was certain ones, like there was certain ones, like I saw a lot of people complaining about, but it was like I get why you complaining, but at the same time you also should know like what the constellations are in order to understand. Like what that was like episode seven or eight when they just used the cup Q Tama to summon a cup. Right. Like, <laughs> Little simple what, ones what, like that. Like like what else are you gonna do with it? You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you you can't blame the show for what the constellations are. I yeah, still can't, can't believe. I still can't believe they actually did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it, stuff like that. Stuff like that is kind of weird, but it makes sense at the same time. But then you got like things like in um, Kira User, which I thought was really fucking goofy. When um, the fart Kira you Gray, when Kira you Gray appeared. Oh yeah, and and he and they used all of those weird as you didn't she like the farting one to like <laughs> prevent them from using their powers. Mm-hmm. Like use they strength. I'm like stuff like that is kind of just a little excessive and a little weird mm-hmm. and unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I like how LVP is handling the gimmick. Like oh, yeah. where they, where occasionally they just find one yeah, in a safe, a or come out of collection. Yeah, yeah it's a piece of the collection. I, I like that too. I really do like because it worked. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And the vehicles are actually pretty cool looking. Boy, that, that shield and the shield, shield and boomerang, and boomerang. so go. Yep, that's probably my favorite VS vehicle. Yeah, that, that, nah, that's my favorite right now. Yeah. What awesome. you gonna say, bro? Oh no, I was just agreeing with you, dude. 
No. <laughs> I'm just so happy I'm caught up, y'all. I'm sorry. That nigga happy he caught up with LVP. I thought, All boy, right. I, look, my money <laughs> is still on the table. You not go finish the show. I don't think you're gonna do Yo, it. Yo, I will finish the show. Dude. I promise <laughs> you, I will. I, I don't think he's gonna do it. Speaking of LVP, shall we? Oh, y'all yes, want to do it? Yeah, yeah. Y'all want right. to? Let's talk about. Uh, let's talk about Lupin X. Hell yeah. Or Pat, talk about, Pat Ren X. No, let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah, nah. No, 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 no. Man, you guys really hate the Pat Rangers, huh? No, I don't hate the it's, Pat Rangers. I don't like the gold one. Oh, yeah, this suit is not that good. This suit is terrible. I know, Lupin X is better. <laughs> Actually, I'm, a, I'm not going to even lie. Like, I'm a fan of both teams. I like both teams. Yeah. I like both teams, too. You know, but just because the show wants us to pick a side, I'm picking Lupin Right. Exactly. Yeah. I am in, so, I'm indifferent. I, I have to be. I probably have to be X playing both sides. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what who X is for. He's made for the fans who can't yeah. choose. I was thinking about that the other day too. I was like, you know what? I kind of relate more to X because he's literally both sides. That nigga is confusing. I don't understand nothing about. Like, I don't is, understand is he... him either. But we're gonna get into that <laughs> later because if I think what's gonna happen is gonna happen, then I'm actually gonna be pretty pissed off. Yeah, about man. him, but so hey, bro, what you think about X's debut, man? You thought it was fire. You thought it was weak. Pretty cool, man. Just do it. Started off, it was just him. Like nope. I'm kind of used. To, I'm kind of just used to you know like the Power Rangers method where you know there's a six ranger that just pops in the middle of a battle. Then there's six ranger syndrome. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> they literally just they throw him right into it like the first the f- what, five seconds of the show. Yeah. I'm like I'm on board with this. <laughs> Speaking of speaking of six ranger syndrome, that nigga is literally invincible. Like every yeah. attack thrown at him literally bounces off of him. He does not put his hands up or defend it or dodge. Tomo, or nothing. Tomo couldn't even get an effective hit on him in the last episode. <laughs> he just stood there and his freaking suit did all the work. <laughs> I mean oh, also, also the dude like TM Revolution. He does, he does, bro. K pop artist of all time. There's of course, you're not going to be able to touch him. <laughs> TM hey, Revolution, the GOATs, y'all the goat know a, singer. Y'all want to know a crazy connection somebody made on Rap Or What's that? that um, okay, so you know how he has that kind of soft voice? They mm-hmm. said that they were his voice reminds them of Frieza. Yeah, he does. Oh, he does sound like then, Frieza. Then in his debut episode, you had a the villain was a monkey riding on a cloud. Yeah, oh, like Goku. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You're right, and then he turned right. gold. So, yeah. Tate, you think he's going to turn into Frieza and try to conquer the world? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's good. I don't, don't think he's like a good character. I mean, no. not a good character, but like a good guy. Excuse me. You don't think so? I think he let, is. let me tell you what I think. Um, you know, the last episode, how he, like, he pretty much set up that fight. He set up that fight with the Lupin Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be so pissed if he turns out to actually just be on the side of the Lupin Rangers permanently, but, like, trying to mess with the Pat Rangers only. Eventually. Yeah, man, that's whack. I'm going to be so well, pissed because it just goes back to the whole fact that, like, the the promotion wants you to side with Lupin Rangers because Lupin, Lupin Ranger keeps yeah. getting promoted more and more. Yeah, they're, they're, they're literally the primary colors. Yeah, like, I'd be so pissed if... <laughs> If X is literally like permanently, but I don't think that's gonna happen. What I think is gonna happen is that he's gonna obviously be the driving factor to unite both teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, so. Look, this is this, this is my speculation on X. So right. in the episodes, the things that we learned about him was that he was actually uh, he actually worked for the Lupin family, just mm-hmm. like Kogor. Yeah, and we also learned that he used the collection to create the. Uh, arsenal, like the Pat Ranger stuff, right? So, like, I, like, like you said, I don't think that he's gonna favor either side until later on. Mm-hmm. I think what's happening right now is his goal is to unite both teams because yeah. he probably feels like the Gangler threat is bigger than just the Lupin Ranger or Pat Ranger, and so that's the reason why he has both powers. And I think the whole idea of him uh, playing both sides is so. That is once again, so he can unite the teams because he could be the common um, yeah. threat. He could be the common that can unite them and make them work together. Because in the next episode, we find out that 
uh, green likes yellow. Yeah. Mm. And so he's using that to get those two. He's using like exactly laying that information to yellow, and they're gonna go back and forth. So I think that he's using like their personal feelings towards each other because they know each other outside of being Lupin Ranger and Pat Ranger. They just right. don't know. They just don't you know. know the, yeah. So <laughs> I think they use those factors to bring both teams together. Yeah. Question. The question is like but, when they, you know, when they combine all their the vehicles and stuff to create that ugly mess of, uh, mess of oh, behemoth. Jesus that thing is butt Christ. ugly. You think <laughs> you think the Lupin Rangers you think the Pat Rangers are gonna know the Lupin Rangers identity by then or no? Because I kinda oh, don't yeah. I kinda don't think so, but I kinda do. I don't know. Yeah. By next month, by next month they're probably gonna know. Yeah. I mean it, uh, it's already time like hinting at it. Yeah, oh, yeah. So Keichiro is kinda onto them now. Yeah, because remember the dream episode? Dream. Yep. Where it was just like, how come, how, how come, how come she, she was, was there? doing I was in there? Yeah. So, I feel like they know. I honestly feel like they know. They just don't have, like, hard evidence. Like, at this point, they're not dumb. Or, yeah, they're yeah. not. Yeah. I don't know. They kind of are. Huh? <laughs> they kind of are. No, it's because they got fooled by um, Goody. Kyrie. When he, uh, when, he, when he duplicated Kyrie. Yeah. Yeah. Big smart. A- any, anybody would fall for that. Come on. <laughs> Big Goat. smart. Yeah. All I know is when Lupin X got off that train, got a train tracks, oh. and that nigga had that silver cloak on. Dude, I, oh, I, I, I made a screenshot <laughs> saying, like, yo, he looks mad good in the cloak. Yeah, they should have kept the cloak yo. on. The tree was hollering in the court. Yeah. <laughs> Even in his first appearance, like, in the first, like, in the very first shot of him, he was in the cloak, but you couldn't get, like, a full body shot until later on. Oh my god! But let's talk about let how athletic this dude is. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's back Don't flips. flips. <laughs> he's like a Japanese Hector David Jr. flipping over everything. <laughs> 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 Not Japanese that Hector nigga. David Jr., but Sentai Hector David David Jr. Then he robbed. Then he robbed like he do he did some backflips and he robbed everybody oh, at the yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah he robbed the cell their phones. cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Goat. Go, oh, <laughs> dude. Another thing, do you guys ha- do you guys like how he was revealed to both teams like right off the bat? Because I actually like that a lot. Yeah. At first, I didn't. I yeah. thought it was weird, but now it's making sense. No, yeah. Yeah. Now, at, at first, me and Tay was like, Ooh. because I don't want I don't want another guy trying to like always run away, hiding who he is when yeah. morphing. You, because, know? I, you know, I hate but, that. Because you know, it's it's too weird for him to play. It's too weird for him to play both sides secretly. Secretly, yeah. So yeah. for, for him yeah. to tell both teams, hey, I'm going to be working with y'all to figure out this stuff. With the he straight, up, tell, he straight up tells Kyrie to his face. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm looping X. Yeah, and I, and I know you're <laughs> looping red. Yeah. Because I don't believe you. Yeah, he still don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, like, so, uh, Noel. Yeah, he's, a, Noel. He, he's actually a pretty decent guy. And I'm also looking forward to like, like the ending. Yeah. The ending when him and Kogor were talking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that I think I think that's actually that that actually meant a lot because he obviously knows something about Kogor too. Oh yeah, <sighs> absolutely. Just like how Good Striker and Noel go way back because mm-hmm. he worked for the family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think you think um you think uh Noel Noel and um. Kogure are like friendly or acquaintances. I think they I know acquaintances. Each other. I wouldn't say acquaintances. I think that, like I said, from so my my speculation on Kogure is that he. I think that Zamigo is gonna play a bigger role later. Yeah, yeah. that guy that hasn't Zami, been around forever. I think Zamigo is actually pulling uh, Kogure strings. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, because it, it's just too convenient that after the Luke Ranger lost their loved ones, Kogor just appeared. You know, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. What I'm, what I, what I think is, oh, uh, Zamigo, mm-hmm. it has one of Kogor's loved ones hostage. Maybe. And he's forcing the, and he's forcing him to recruit the Lupin Ranger to gather the collection for him. Maybe. So he can revolt against the gangler. Yeah. That'd and I think sweet. Yeah, and I think 
Noel knows that because remember when X was first revealed, Noel said keep a close eye on Kogor from now on. Yeah. So I think that first revealed, I think that's what it's setting up to. He knows something about him that, you know, we we're gonna find out later on. Dude, I really hope we get that twist. I really do. That'd be yeah, awesome. Man. That'd be so good for the show. Oh, that plot picked up, boy, when uh, mm. when they get dropped. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, let's do it. Let's I was do it. dude, I because the last couple of episodes that I marathoned, I was like, yo, this is cool. I don't mind it, but I need some plot. Yeah. Like yeah. that see, because the thing with this, like, about the fandom, like fandom, they the fandom likes more character centric stuff as a whole. That's not always so what they're looking for, too, at the same time when they, that, get, when they get character development. That's why everybody likes Lupin versus Pat so much, because there's so much character focus. But me, personally, it was kind of slow for me, because I like more plot. plot. Mm-hmm. I like more things that move the plot. You know, That's why I was able to get into um, Q-Ranger so heavily, because mm-hmm. like the first 20 episodes, they did nothing but plot, plot, plot. plot. Yeah, and, I hear you. But now that going somewhere with it, it i'm actually looking forward to what they got uh coming next to go off what they saying depending on how lvp did they might have did something smart they might have like got the character development out of the way first right then mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. go to get out of the plot because how much how, at this point how much more character development do you need you yeah. don't need any more yeah, yeah good i think they're good fan- except for umika i feel like uh i, f- I don't know uh, i feel like she's like she- the worst out of all six of them seven of them <laughs> still well if things hold up like the last few years, she won't get shit throughout the whole show. People will just like her because she's a girl, and then yeah. she'll she'll be the center focus of a movie next year. Yeah. <laughs> like like Amu, yeah, like Amu and Hammy, yeah, yep. garbage. Because like, <laughs> I don't know, like Scusa is more like prominent. Goat. Yeah, she's definitely the goat. She's more like prominent and like compelling than Umika. Anytime no, we get a flashback of Umika, Umika's like, oh, I miss I miss my dead friend. Yeah. Like sick. I love when pink Umika rangers are, are raw. I know, yeah. right? We love your what? As I love when pink rangers are raw. Mm. Hell yeah, man. Back off, she mine. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I got you in the sense. How you gonna disrespect your father? L- listen, dog. <laughs> she coming Bro, to P- she's coming to PMC this year, all right? <laughs> she, she's not. No, she's not. She got a film. LVP, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be filming till next year, till the beginning okay, of next that, year. That sounds like a personal problem. She's still coming, bro. We gotta get in the next hilltop. We gotta be the next hilltop. Yo, let's do it. <laughs> no, if you guys are the next hilltops, I ain't watching that show. Hilltop is so <laughs> whack. <laughs> hilltop is, what is very hilltop? whack. What does hilltop doing... even do? Nothing. Yo, last I episode. Last better. last episode. Noel was like, yo, I don't even answer to you, boy. I answer to, I answer to another, <laughs> another chain of command. <laughs> That's why. Hilt- so Hilltop just sits there and watches them. <laughs> He's their babysitter. Pretty Human much. Human mentor. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop. Human mentors are garbage. Have they not learned anything? I know. If we get a, if we get a anthrop- anthropomorph- anthropomorphic mentor, yeah, boom, like, instant like, ranger like, right there. Yeah, like Doggy or Torin. Hell yeah. They're both so good. So basically what y'all saying is Jim Carter should be their uh mentor, yeah. Their mentor. We got a, we'll Young, get a robot, robot Pat Ranger. Yeah. Jim Carter don't need to do nothing. No, he he, he just stands around. I'm he like, just yeah. stands there and says I I I I I <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Goody Goody is like the Lupin Rangers like Jim Carter almost because he pretty just hangs much. out with them all day. Yeah. Well yeah, because they actually they're Lupin Rangers. They he 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 feels probably he probably feels closer to them. Yeah, because they care about his feelings. Reminds me. And they need, <laughs> they need somebody to talk to because Kogura don't show up until it's time for a treasure. Dead oh, ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate how he stealthily just like shows up. They turn they they turn around. And he's like sitting there <laughs> sipping on tea. <laughs> like hey guys, ice popsicles. Yeah, I love the one scene. I love the one scene where uh, I think Kyrie is leaving the restaurant. Uh-huh. And the camera goes back and back and forth between Kyrie and then Umika and Toma and then yeah. the Kyrie in the back to them. And then it goes back to them one time and Kogura standing in the middle. Yeah. And everybody flint everybody flinches like, hey nigga, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey man. That's, I think it's funny when he just pop up. I wish he would yeah. be I wish he'd be like, what, you didn't hear the door open or something? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he wanna be Batman, yo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why is he dressed up like a butler? 
if you don't that's what if he gives work. him what to do. Uh what? Yeah, he was just a servant. He was a servant of the looping head. Oh, okay. True. Kogor. See now I'm not, see look, y'all done got me curious. Now I'm wondering what's up with this nigga for real. I'm like, he getting suspicious. Of course. On top. Just suspicious since day one. All right. But the J- the Japanese people like them because for some reason Japanese people they love old people. They do. They do. <laughs> because they, they respect their elders, people. that's why. Yeah. They love old people with glasses. Kogurasan. Dude, he's not even he looks so old, but he's he's only like fifty like three. Really? Yeah. Dang. I thought that nigga was a good seventy though. Dude, I thought he I was thought like, yeah, I thought he's 60. Like, I thought he's sixty, sixty five. He's only he's only like yeah. fifty three, fifty four. Jesus. Yeah. He he did not age well at all. <laughs> Grandpa, yeah, no. I'm sorry. That's someone's not, father. I'm making fun of. I feel bad. <laughs> he's not, he not old. He not old as hell. Like Last Ninja. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say Last Ninja guy. is old. I hate no. Last Ninja. I, <laughs> I was scared for Last Ninja because they used to have him up on them, like stand on, stand on top of buildings. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo, yeah, I, boy, I was shook. I was that like, I need to It's over. I'll never forget that time in Nin Ninja where. Kyoimon and Last Ninja fought each other, and they did, and like literally because they had to, you know, obviously because they obviously couldn't have him actually fighting, <laughs> they know nothing but dope. back shots the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I was just happy when he became Aka Ninja, and then Kyoimon stabbed him through the back. <laughs> I was so hyped, dude! I I couldn't. I was so happy. Big death out here. I was so excited because I hated him so much. See, the ninja had a lot of lore it could work with. It could have worked with. But they forgot the lore half the time. Yeah. Like, the grandpa is apparently like 400 years old. (laughs) What the hell, man? I don't get that. He's 400 years old. Oh, his son, 40. (laughs) I'm like, oh, my God, wait a minute. (laughs) He waited like 400 years to have a family. (laughs) Some don't add up. That just means he was out here dry for a long time. <laughs> he was almost a 400-year-old virgin. <laughs> Doug, I remember, <laughs> Doug, I remember the night. I, I'll never forget. I, I remember the night I realized that when he was 400 years old. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold yeah. on. This nigga 400 years old and he got a family? Right. That's still alive? That's very young. I'm like, oh, he must use a lot of <laughs> mentality to keep him intact. And the first- <laughs> And the crazy part is they tried to give him some story. They tried to give him some background story about him killing his dad. And it's like, nigga, no one cares about your dad. Like, yeah, who cares? <laughs> like your that story man, doesn't even make any man, sense. That man been dead for like five hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And it was crazy because he killed Gengetsu four hundred and forty four years ago, and in the flashback, he's old then. How old? Yeah. Is he? Right, so he, <laughs> that's why it didn't make any sense to me. He was an old man. He was an old man 444 years ago, which means he's a, he's a good he's a good 550. Oh man. Oh, man. The ninja is a weird sentai dog. Let's stop talking about it before I get mad. Yeah. Right, I'm already angry. It's, it's funny to me. <laughs> oh, 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 ninja still out. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of, speaking of Power Rangers, uh, Tay got Tay is excited cuz Dark Ranger exists now. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to wait till... No, it's just, it's, just, it's just an announcement. It's just news. Right, cool. Yeah, we're not right. talking about the comics. Comics is the next yeah. episode, but we're it's just, just announcing news. the new team. Hashtag Beyond yeah. the Grid. Yeah, I am grid. hype. I'm hella Goat. hype because I got my boy Cam in there. Goat. They got Tanya, bro. Tanya. Goat. You can't name one nigga on that team that's not the Besides maybe Ranger Slayer. <laughs> yeah, Ranger, Ranger Slayer is big whack, but we'll get we'll get into that in the comic yeah, episode next, next week. Because you can't even argue um, with me that she's not the that she is not whack. You can't even argue listen that. To, listen to uh, the Dark <laughs> Ranger, bro. The Dark Ranger is. I'm so happy. Me too. <laughs> it took it took the comics to do something right. You know, <laughs> like damn. You think it's going to be Heckle? Man, I hope not. I hope, I hope not either, because Heckle is so whack. <laughs> Tay had me weak, because he said the only two logical huh? range of identity is Heckle and him. <laughs> I, I hope it's um, Badusa. 
I hope it's Tay. I hope Tay is a dark ranger. Yo, yeah. dead ass, bro. <laughs> you know how many followers you could bring to the channel? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Go. So who so who's on the team? I mean, who's on the team? We got Mike. Andros. Andros. Tanya. Tanya. Cam. 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 Dark, Ra dark Ranger alternate Cam. And Magma, Magma, Defender. Magma Defender. Yeah. And it's not, not it's Mike. not Mike. It's, it's not Mike. Oh, I must have missed that shit. Hold up. No, yeah, look at the announcement one more time. One more again, my yeah, friend. Yeah, they say Magic Defender, not Mike, when they say everybody else's name. Yep, because yeah. they call, they make sure to call everybody else by name. They say Andros, yep. Cam, Watanabe, Tanya Sloan, Magic Defender. <laughs> in yeah. a mysterious Dark Ranger. Dang, I was Imagine really hoping Magic it would be Mike, looking for Zika in the comics. You was hoping it would be Mike. I like Mike. Mike I like, has the I like, I like Mike, too. Mike has the worst six wager syndrome of all time. Well, he had to work. <laughs> he was an he honest living had a he was an excuse. He, he, had an, he had an honest living. He had to take care of Terra Venture from the ops. <laughs> Him and Kai got the same job. I know, but Kai got off, <laughs> let off the hook. You know what? When Mike came back, they're all just like, yo, Mike, where you been? And that, that old lady that old um that old lady was like, I'm sure whatever it is is probably a good reason. Yeah, and they just let it go. <laughs> Mike been gone for seventeen episodes. They left him back on the moon. <laughs> I mean, no, they left him on Miranoi. Oh, it's funny because the commander says that he's like, "I thought we left you on the moon." I'm like, "What you mean you left him on the moon? Why did y'all look at you?" <laughs> <laughs> like nobody reported it. That's funny. Hey, but that's gonna be raw because they're taking over the comic like entirely. Like they're the stars of it now. They are legit the Mighty Morphin. Like that's yeah. that's crazy to me. I Nigga, was thinking, I, hmm? um, I was thinking like, you know how Magnum Defender lost Zika, Cam lost his mother, Tanya has his parents like trapped in a cave or whatever. <gasps> oh! Yeah, you see where I'm getting at? You see where Yo. I'm getting at, boy? Andros is looking for his sister. Bro, you yeah. might be on the something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know oh, what I'm on to. This the lost squad. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? It's the lost nigga squad. You lost yeah, nigga pretty squad. much. What if like Shattered Grid like puts them back into like a point in time where like you know they lost all their loved ones and now to get Go. them back they gotta you know fix if Draken's that, mess or whatever. If that's the case, Dark Ranger deck definitely heckle because the nigga lost his whole plan. Yeah, see, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. But who knows? I'll be happy who it, whoever it is because I'm just happy the nigga exists. Yeah, I'm happy he exists too. I've wanted him forever. I've wanted him since. Di Dude, and Dino when Dino Supercharge came, I he should have been the main villain. They should have used the yeah. suit, made him the oh main villain. God. I man, <laughs> try, try to try all season to steal the Energem's powers to power up the Spinozord, which would happen in like towards the finale, and then that's it, man. Bro, you know what should have happened? Honestly, like what? Heckle shouldn't have never even been been introduced in the first season. Exactly. He he should have came to the. He should have been. He should have been like the main villain of season one. Mm -hmm. Snide Singe should have been. Sin should have been like his right hand. Singe and like chaos. Uh, what's his name? Lord Ar Arcanon. Shouldn't have honestly. Arcanon shouldn't have even been like even a in pivotal it. spot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. He, he could have been some. He could have been. Like, he could have been Finster for all I cared. <laughs> he should have been. Ooh. That would have been better if he was Finster. Yeah. He he could have been his Finster. And they, their goal could have been simply to... Their goal the whole season could have been to merge the Dark Energy with dinosaur DNA to so um, he could become Ranger. a Ranger. Like, that, could have been, that could have been a first episode setup. And uh -huh. then like from that point on, it's like, okay, you have this guy. You have this guy who's bonded to this mysterious dark energy, and right? He is all, he is leading all of these villains, and he's a ranger. That could have been that could have been a better, but whatever. That's asking too much of Saban. That yeah, they did ask too much of Saban, even Bro, though would, they already got another move. Yeah, dude in the show. <laughs> I would have literally had him as like Badusa, kept it with Kyoruja, used the Kyoruja yeah. movie footage. I wouldn't even mind that. I wouldn't even mind that either. But just like have him as the main villain with original footage. Throughout yeah. the season, looking to power up his Spinozoid, <laughs> which is like badly damaged or something from a, from like I don't know when, 
But like, yeah. try to steal the Energem's powers because that's the only way he could power up his Zord because it requires a lot of energy, and then that's it. Hey, is there a uh, back to the comic real quick? Is there a mm-hmm. like story on what the this new team is doing? Because I don't remember what yeah, they're what cleaning they up Draken's mess. No. I think they just said whatever. What happens at the end of Shadow Grid changes makes everything. It necessary. Oh, okay, so yeah. Oh, they, the main team. Yeah, yeah. They're not spoiling anything. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But so Marty, that, that's hmm? kind of one thing that I that I'm wondering. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that next week. All right. Yeah, we'll talk about it next time. <laughs> but hey, uh, listen, there's, there's another piece of news also. What's, what's up? that, bro? Wasn't it just leaked from like was it Mega Brazil that um the Q was it the Q Ranger name was used in like the um oh yeah it was trademark yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was since, since J- June 2017 Saban had it uh registered. So and not even just that a bunch of other trademarks. Oh yeah, like, Go- Ghost Ranger. Ghost Ranger. Yeah, there was something yeah. called oh. Ghost Ranger. I figured there was other ones too. Goat. No, it's not goat. Yeah. So no, nah, <laughs> so basically what happened was there was like a bunch of trademarks. Like Saban had done had did a bunch of trademarks last year. Mm-hmm. Um that obviously didn't fall through when um that obviously didn't fall through when Hasbro came in the picture. But yeah. now they but now they're back up. Those trademarks exist again. Oh. As if, you know, possibly Hasbro bought those trademarks as well. Hope so, so man. We don't know exactly. Yo, you, but, you know what I'm hoping? What? what? I'm hoping yeah. that Q Ranger is going to be like a... Uh, like, they're going to do two shows at the same time like they do with Transformers. That's kind of risky. Oh, that but, is kind of risky. <laughs> I personally wouldn't mind it, but, yo, because I, I really want Q Ranger to come over to America already. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm. I mean, we, we were all prepared for Q Ranger to be the next season yeah. well, for Hasbro. Yeah. That's why it was kind of weird when Nick announced the three-year extension and they yep. used the Q-Ranger picture. picture and now it makes sense now, because... Now it all makes sense. Yep. Exactly. So there definitely was plans for Q-Ranger to be the next season. I'm a, with I'm Nick a, thing and then with... That. What? I wasn't looking forward to that at all. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nick. Nick, the fuck? No. <laughs> I'm going to cry in it's my jewelry. It's still going to be on Nick, bro. Right. Well, I mean, like, just, <laughs> I'm just with the way things with the Saban brands at the time. Nah, you, you're not Q Ranger. It's going to be the next one. Like, no, it's going to be mid. But now that Hasbro has it, let's see. Yo, Beast Morphin oh, yeah. better not be mid. Please. <sighs> Even though it's like a transitional season between like yeah. the companies, I'm just like, I'm holding nah, up a little I'm, hope. Nah, I'm actually giving, I'm actually giving, uh, I'm giving Beast Morphin a lot of leeway. I'm giving Beast Morphers a lot of leeway because yeah. I understand the fact that, you know, this is a whole new company. You're doing a whole lot of different things. Even though a lot of people from the team is going to be working for Hasbro on this season, you know, I'm sti- it's going to be interesting to see what what's different working with Hopefully. Hasbro than working with uh, <laughs> the bond. It's going to be interesting to see. And then plus that information that was leaked that came out today. Oh yeah. yeah, can't they can't they not lose use New Zealand no more? <laughs> no, they they don't get the grants anymore. They don't get that extra cash oh. flow. Yeah, they're not getting that extra cash, <laughs> so, which is like a couple you know, million, I think, right? Money. Yeah, it has got money. Yeah, you know what that means. That's you know true. what that means. You know what that means, bro. We're going to Vancouver. Hey. <laughs> Many wish people like have, about to have an Air Force crossover. Yeah, like Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally gonna say that they're gonna be an Arrow Force crossover. Yeah. Red bus, red uh, beast, uh, red beast morpher ranger versus Flash. Oh, Goat. Tap into the Speed Force. <laughs> Goat. I'm about to start writing fan fiction again. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you ship your characters, bro. Oh, oh my fault, my fault. I got, I got you. We're gonna come on the fire again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dog. Look. Uh, uh, so are they gonna stay in New Zealand or are they going somewhere? It seems well, like they're gonna still. The- I think they're still in New Zealand. It's just they don't get the grants anymore. So yeah. the money that Nick Fury puts into the show, like you know how they had, like if <laughs> if they hire a Kiwi actor, they give them grants. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. so I do they, Kiwi they references. Yeah. Oh, so that's why Chase got the Kiwi on his skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. Or they had the NZ boys. Yeah, the well, NZ like, boys. Why... Boy, <laughs> what if that? What if that's why Saban sold it? Because he ain't get no money. He knew he won't get no money no more. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but, like, uh, no, I don't know what it is. No, but it's like, that's like a standard business practice. You like, you hold on to something for a little bit and then you sell it for whatever. Try to get more money out of it for selling it. Mm. He did his best. Yeah, he, he did his best. But the fact no, no, obviously, nobody, not a lot of people aren't like excited for Chiplin to come back, but this is the real test to see if it's. If like the lackluster quality is on his part or the company meddling in or whatever. Hey man, there are times he, charm, dude, but he made uh, good seasons in the past though. That's the aggravating part. Yeah, he also wrote the first half of Turbo. There you go. <laughs> People don't know that his, his, it says Chip Lin on the first half of Turbo, and then yeah. when TJ and them come in and say Jud Lin, <laughs> that nigga <laughs> switched his name up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know, man. I think, I think the whole, I think honestly, it's partially Chip and it's partially, you know, Saban, and yeah. and and it also has to be a part of on Nickelodeon too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I think all of those things play a factor. I don't think it's just one somebody's fault, right? You know, right. This, this is a whole show. Yeah, yeah. it's a team effort. You, you know can't fall on one person. It's, it's not fair. Yeah. So this is a this is a show. So there's more to it than we'll ever know. Like even remember, like when Dino Charge and Super when Dino Charge is going on and when Super Charge started, he was actually Chip, yeah, Chip was actually interacting with the fandom on like Ranger Board and Ranger Crew. Yeah. Yeah. And then like he got driven away. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he it was so much flag behind uh behind Super Charge after like the third episode and stuff. You know, he's all he all he said was that he signed off on everything that was uh that's been done in the season, and he stopped commenting. Yeah, man, Dog. that's why it's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, that is why it's frustrating. You know what? You know what? They need. I was thinking about this. What's up? Like, Sentai has a pool of a, a larger pool of writers than Power Rangers does. Maybe Power Rangers needs to like, you know, what I mean, like, don't let it just be just Chip. Like, you know, what I'm saying, Give, let somebody else have the ball. Give a team effort. Well, right now. The question yeah. is though, like. Well, all that money, why hasn't other why has you know other writers and shit been hired? Like why? Why are we using the same three or four all over again? Why? I don't know. You yeah. also, also gotta take into account that people also like they probably have tried to get other people, but people also are gonna take jobs that they're generally interested in. Right, like, exactly. People, right. It, it's not hard to find a writer who's a fan of a Marvel, who's right. you know, or yeah. a DC, you know. There is not hard, like in on the Japanese spectrum, it's not hard to find a writer who uh is or once was a fan of Sentai um, writer. writer. Like yeah. because those those are popular in culture over there. When it comes to Power Rangers, it was popular in the nineties. You probably mm. could find you probably could find, you know, a dozen different people who would love to write the show. It's twenty eighteen. You is there's not too many people who are well rounded. Yeah. You know, at well-rounded writers who is probably willing to write this show. That that's probably why Ninja Steel feels like corny, mighty morphin filler all the time. Mm. That forgets its own lore half the time too. Yeah, because that's what it's written by people who watch Mighty Morphin. Tay's right about that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I <laughs> yeah. see, I see it. Yeah. Ugh. Because you never you never hear any of these like people who work for the show who've bought, who've been fans of Power Rangers talk about like anything past Mighty Morphin. Hey man. All I'm saying is because that's what they grew up with. That's what they remember. All, all I'm saying is Kyle Higgins is out of a job for right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's al- he's almost done, dude. That's actually kind of yeah. sad because I've yeah. been for the past since 2016 since the comic started. Damn, hey, man, some dumb I, heat. I I hear there's another Power Rangers show starting. Maybe he could get a job over there. Just saying. Yeah. He yeah. said he was gonna work. Exciting. Huh? That's, that's the last thing he said. He said, I think he t- someone asked him, what's he going to do? He said, I guess it's something exciting, something people should look forward to. So maybe, who knows? It could be Listen, part. if they do right. get Kyle for Beast Morphers, I have 100% faith. <laughs> Five has turned around. He's like, you know what? You have my attention. Yeah, you definitely Listen, have my attention. <laughs> Listen, I will leak my... <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you cut out when you said I'm that. You know you said leak my. I'm glad he said. I know he said leak my news. <laughs> Listen, I will leak my news. <laughs> oh my god! This is the new writer for Power Rangers. The court censored him. It was like, ah, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> no, but Kyle really has been doing a great job since he tackled Power Rangers in 2016. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
He gave me love. He gave me love for Mighty like, Morphin yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but not to play not to even try to play the devil's advocate or anything, but mm. he did too, he did too good of a job. Because if you think about it, he didn't have any restrictions doing the comic. That's true. Yeah, he's yeah. not restricted by Sentai footage or he, budget. He's not, he's not restricted by Sentai footage or budget, which means he can write it however he wants. He wants. If he was to, yeah. if, if he was to come into the show, he'll have to take he, budget, he'll still have to that. learn a whole piece. Yeah. Yeah. But I think he can do it. Honestly. I think he can do it too. It's yeah. dude. It's really not hard to write around like Sentai footage. Like it's, it's not, not really hard to write to incorporate some kind of goofy Sentai footage. Or if you don't like it, just call for a reshoot. Right, because the Sentai exactly because the Sentai footage is just the fight scenes. They it's contextless yeah. action. Right. So exactly. all you gotta do is just put some write some around it. And also, it's we gotta think about this too. Hasbro's not not afraid to spend money. Exactly. So we have a new company. So... And well, they, they, they said they're willing to put in the money for Power Rangers as well because it has, it has untapped potential. Exact words. They, they got to spend money for Beast Morphers. They have they to. They got to. It's freaking Go Busters yeah. for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> they got. They have. They kind of have no choice but to spend money. Yeah. Oh, man. Yo, speaking of speaking of Go Busters, bro, I've been What's seeing up? you tweet that all the time. Like your little rewatch. Is yeah. it worth watching though? Oh like, hell yeah. Bro. Real it's, nigga, li- real nigga. it's literally one of my favorite Sentai series, and I've almost I've watched almost every Sentai there is out there. And, and it's, it's got tiny. It's yeah. one. It's one of my favorites. It's my man, mine too. It's got tiny Power Rangers homages. In- yeah, it's morphin. The morphin says it's morphin time. They call the they call the enemy robots Megazords. Hey, yo, listen. And- I might just say you know forget trying to watch Q Ranger and just watch you know Go Busters. Yeah, give Go Busters a shot, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's gonna. It, it reminds. It's gonna remind you of RPM, in some in some as, in some aspects. Uh, yo, for our herb, let's do this, man. Listen, twenty dollars, no, two hundred dollars. <laughs> if I could finish Go Busters by the end of the year, no. You, you can just, I could do it. No, you can you can go on Wikipedia and just act like you watched. Oh it. my. Okay. All right. <laughs> on that note, Legion out. <laughs> <laughs> this is recorded evidence. <laughs> So you guys bet whatever you want to bet. Hey, no, like we ain't betting. He said on that note, Legion out. So. <laughs> okay, so we're actually out? All right, we out. <laughs> Power down, guys. <laughs>